Hello everybody and welcome back to another Happiest Hour on Earth episode. We have a very special episode planned for tonight. We are going to be having Caleb and Caitlin on from Market House Podcast. I'm and so excited. They're a fave of ours. Oh my gosh. They just put out amazing content. And if you didn't hear, we were actually on their podcast, um, I guess a week and a half ago. I, I know Thanksgiving, so, yeah. it was it was right before Thanksgiving, and that yeah. always throws off my schedule. But <laughs> yeah. you were on their show, had such a blast with them. Yeah, it was so fun. Amazing people. And so we are so excited to get them on our show tonight. We're going to be talking about Disney Cruise Line and is it worth it? What can you expect, you know, while you're on a cruise? And so they've been on multiple, and I cannot wait to hear from them tonight and give you guys some tips on uh, some Disney Cruise Line. And get some tips ourselves. Yeah. We have not been on a Disney Cruise yet, and I'm very excited to hear what they have to say about it, because I oh, know yeah. that they love it a lot. I, I know. I, I really want to book one right now. I we know. probably will right after we talk to them. Probably. They're going to convince us instantly. <laughs> um, but before we get to that, Emily, can you introduce the drink to our listeners yes. tonight? Yes. We are officially getting into holiday drink and snack from the park at this point. Yeah. Uh, we're very excited, even though tonight's topic isn't really holiday based. It was still time to jump into seasonal beverages it'll so, be december by the time this episode that's comes true out. Yeah. so technically it is officially christmas season so For sure. we're very excited about this drink this is called the gingerbread mule and oh, yeah. it can be found at the hollywood lounge in california adventure yeah. so we saw this one on the menu for seasonal offerings in disneyland and we knew this one had to be our first First one that we yeah. made for the show. Hollywood Lounge always pops off during the season. They <laughs> They're do. always like, well, we might as well like add five yeah. seasonal drinks. But I, I feel like not nowhere else really does that. So it's true. Shout out to yeah. Hollywood Lounge. I'm, I'm pretty excited to try this one. Let's right. give it a shot. Cheers. 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 Mm. Wow, that's great. That really is good. amazing. That is really good. That is really refreshing. You get a slight little bit of the gingerbread. Oh my gosh. Some yeah, the lemon. cinnamon, because we're using the um, fireball. It calls for cinnamon mm-hmm. whiskey. Cinnamon whiskey, uh, ginger beer, gingerbread syrup, mm-hmm. lemon. Um, the lemon, it's weird because usually you get it with lime. Lemon, I thought of hot toddy. Yeah. Um, you know, and so maybe Ooh. that's why they, they chose the lemon over the lime. But I really like the flavor, though. Good. It's really just, it tastes so like, like Christmassy. Oh, yeah. That and so refreshing as a mule. Cinnamon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I love that. Oh, that is yeah. so good. But yeah, before we jump into the show, I know that was just like the best thing ever. Really um, I just want to do a couple shout outs. We've been having so many amazing. Um, we've been featured as guests. Guests have been coming on our show. Uh, there's just been a lot of love within the Disney community. Um, shout out to Cuckoo Culture, who was on our show a few weeks back. Uh Market House, which we're going to have tonight, and we were on their show. Mm-hmm. Make It Magical Pod that, um, you know, we did the crossover as well. We were on their show. They were on our show. Um, shout out to Johnny from DMSW. He just left us a review on Apple Podcasts. It means so much. So uh, much. Amazing podcast. Go check him out. All these people and a lot more people are just so amazing. And so supportive. I, yeah, I feel so loved within the Disney community. Me too, and it's yeah. awesome to see that. There's no, There's no, like, you know competition or like you know just wanting all the listeners to come to you it's like we we genuinely just all want everybody to get as much exposure and support as they can because it's just so fun to see all these pods and you know just instagram pages grow as much as they can it's been Uh, so awesome it's been so great Yeah. yeah and speaking of guests should we go ahead and call up caleb and caitlin let's call all right let's do it Caleb and Caitlin, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming on to our show. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. Of hey. course, thanks for having us. Yes, we are so excited. You have no idea. Again, we can't thank you enough. So Yes. Yeah, we're yeah. so excited. We, yeah. We've been waiting for this. We're, we're super pumped it finally happened, and we had the best time on your show a few weeks ago, so oh. we've just been waiting for this one because we're yes. so excited to hear about Disney cruises. The cruise. Yeah, can't yeah. wait to talk we about it. We are so excited. It's yes. got a lot, a lot to talk ever. about. <laughs> so. Yeah, I know. I, th- I think last week I mentioned it, but after we were on your guys' show and we like stopped the record, we just like hung out for a good long while and just like got to know each other even better. And it was just like the best time 
in the world. And so yeah, I'm so, so glad that we are having you guys on our show. It just really means so much to us. And ever since we connected, we were just like, these people are amazing. Like yeah. we have to collab and it's finally here. So um, I know. so blessed to have you guys. You guys are yes. so nice. Thanks so much. Yay. I can't yeah. wait. Awesome. I'm so excited. <laughs> We're yeah. so pumped. So for any of our listeners who maybe haven't heard you guys before, maybe don't know about your show, can you let them in on who you are, what you talk about, all that good stuff? Sure. Yeah. So we're Market House Podcast, mm-hmm. Caleb and Caitlin. <laughs> uh, no, so we're just two kind of young adults. Um, mm-hmm. I, I like to consider myself young still. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, just talking Disney. Honestly, we just every week we, you know, mostly focus on Disneyland only because that's our home park. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're in the Sacramento area. So uh, that's local to us. I mean, local uh, as, as local as you can get, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. But we're magic key holders and also do Disney Cruise Line. We've been on a few of those, mm-hmm. which we'll talk about today. And yes. then Disney World. So I mean, we try and cover all the Disney things, but mostly Disneyland. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. I love it. Love it. It's fine. I love your show. <laughs> yeah, Thank we you. really, Thank guys, we anyone listening to our show right now, you guys will love Market House Podcast. Honestly, yeah. once we found you guys and started listening, you guys are just enjoyable people to listen to. Great mm. topics. I mean, just you have so everything good. you need for a podcast. I and, think um, I pretty much listen to each new episode like the day it comes out. It's usually oh like, Shh. I'll be like Thank making you. breakfast in the morning and I put it on because I just love to start my Mondays that way. Oh, <laughs> okay. you guys are so nice. That's seriously so funny because as I'm getting ready for work, I always listen to your guys. I hear your like guys' voice one. every morning or every, every, every morning. morning. Yeah, every morning. Yeah. We're, we're every kind morning, of creeping on you guys. very busy yeah. show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of topics. To Maybe cover. we'll get there uh, in a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> busy morning coming to you live. Yeah. Um, but actually, in, we started kind of around the same time. Um, how did you guys actually get inspired to start your show um because i know when you guys were i think just a few months after us right we were like early 2021 you guys were like summer yeah like late right? summer september yeah. okay uh so nice. yeah i'll start and you can kind of you yeah. can chime in but um i we were actually it started it was uh of course we were kind of coming out of covid right the lockdowns and yeah. stuff mm-hmm. and uh disney had just opened i think in april that year opened back up and we were on a walk and i told i turned to caitlin and said i've like Again, I didn't mention it to her through the pandemic, but I was like, I've just got like all this creative stuff going. We've got yeah. all this extra time because we're hanging on at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And why don't we like find an outlet for that? And um, again, respect to you guys. You guys can do YouTube. I'm always like so scared and self-conscious <laughs> to do it only because I'm like, they're so mean on the internet. And so I was like, what's something I can hide behind a mic and not have a video on? And that was podcasting. So we chose that. Yeah, we love it. And again, we're so obsessed with Disney. Again, we can get into it later, but like it started so young for us. Yeah. Like, both of our parents are obsessed. So when we both found each other and we both equally love it, it was such a great way to like basically engage in this awesome Disney community because we are constantly having conversations about what do we love about Disney? Mm -hmm. Like what's the current state of events? Like what's the new movie that just came out and just talking about Mm -hmm. it. So we thought this would be the best way to do that. And we have to say the community that we have found, including you guys have just been so awesome. Like we have so many friends through Instagram and it's just, it's been such a fun ride. Like I'm so glad we did it. So isn't that awesome? It. it is so much fun. It's like, it's crazazy how big that world is. Like, right. It, it just, it blows my mind. Like how many people we've met and gotten to be such close friends with. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's such a fun community to be a part of. Yeah. I, for love sure. it. I think that, like you said, you know, talking about current state of events with, you know, anything that's happening within the Disney realm. Um, what I love about your guys' show is that you do have like a fun snippet, you know, just like the news that you need to hear every single mm-hmm. week, everything. And there's been a lot of stuff recently with, <laughs> yeah. with the Disney company <laughs> that we need to know about. Um, but you guys have like that segment and you have the shopping segment, you have oh. your like main topic and it's always just so fun. Your transitions trivia, are amazing yeah. too. Oh, you always just get so happy like hearing those transitions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the trivia segment. Yeah. It's all it's so well gosh. done, you guys. Yeah. It's just such a fun it. show. It's so fun. And one thing I love about you guys too is that you guys, I mean, I know a lot of a lot of our friends are like really big Disney people, but they like go to Disneyland or like Disney World. But you guys have done multiple cruises and we've heard you guys talk a lot about the cruises. And so we we're like, we have to get um, Market House on to just give us a little bit of an insight because we have nothing to offer. We've never done a Disney mm-hmm. cruise. But can you guys tell us a little bit about your past experiences with Disney Cruise Line? You know, when was your first cruise? How many have you taken? What's sure. been your favorite? All that good stuff. All yeah. The good so stuff. the the experience started in late 2018. So Caitlin grew up 
going on cruises as a, a little girl yeah. uh, with her family. <laughs> and so I think they kind of stuck to carnival, right? Yeah, we only did carnival cruising. Mm. And Caitlin would okay. try to convince me right when we got married. She's like, we need to do a cruise. And she would explain what you do. And I was like, that, I just I can't get behind that. that doesn't sound fun to me. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I can swim. <laughs> On land, yeah. <laughs> and I can <laughs> I can eat down the street. Yeah. So I just never got the draw. And so when she mentioned Disney Cruise Line, I was like, okay, like this sounds more up my alley. We love Disneyland. And so after researching it, we booked our first cruise in early. Um, we went on our first cruise in early 2019 mm-hmm. uh, for her oh, birthday. Nice. Yeah, and, awesome. uh, and it was on the Dream, um, and it was a Bohemian uh, cruise. So it went to Nassau and oh. then Disney's private castaway key, their island. Which yes. Is oh my god. Amazing. So yeah, we <laughs> started with the four night. That was our first cruise, and it was I've been hooked since. And I like never thought I'd be like a cruise person, but now I'm like, sign me up. Like yeah. <laughs> anytime oh, we have the opportunity yeah. to go, we go. Then we went on the next one in 2020, about a year later, and then of course took a break because of COVID. And then we just recently <laughs> mm-hmm. went in uh September yes. of this year. Uh, oh, we went to Alaska. Wow. Which was so, so oh, yeah. amazing. What was the 2021? Was that? Um... Uh, another same same exact itinerary. So Bohemian out oh, of Port nice. Canaveral. Yeah. Yeah. You're like, it's too amazing. We it's exactly. Yeah. We need to get a second yeah. taste of it. It's so. seriously yes. it's the best. And normally we tag on like Disney World for a couple days, like one or two days prior. And oh. just mm-hmm. there's just something about Castaway Key. It's literally one of my favorite places on the earth. So it's, oh it's pretty gosh. unreal. So like, yeah, it's imagine Disney World, but like plop it on an island it's it's, it's pretty amazing so wow amazing. how many days do you usually get at castaway key usually one mm-hmm. and they have ones called okay. double dip cruises mm-hmm. they are mm-hmm. a small fortune yeah. and they're very hard to get uh <laughs> but they do exist <laughs> if you have the money and the uh availability you can go on a double dip and they they go twice in one uh cruise which mm-hmm. is amazing we've never done it but no. it sounds fun Yes. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. So is there like any major difference between the ships? Because you guys have been on a few of them. Um, and do you have a favorite of the ones that you've been on? Yeah. Well, we've only been on out of five now, right? Or out five? of five now. Five. We've only been on the Dream and the Wonder. And okay. the Dream is a newer ship. Obviously, the Wish is the newest one. Um, mm-hmm. The Dream and Fantasy are the same size. And then the Wonder is one of the smallest and older ships. Um, so okay. currently with going on the wonder, if I'm speaking for both of us, I would say the dream was our favorite. Um, we prefer the larger size ships. Um, we kind mm-hmm. of feel like there's more room to like move around and there's more stuff to do. And the wonder was great. Nothing wrong with it. It looked amazing for being like an older ship. They kept really good. Equipment. Yeah. It, it came out in 1999. So yeah. it's pretty old. Um, oh my wow. so we were, yeah, we were yeah. quite surprised cause we thought, Oh, it might be a little old looking and they, I mean, again, yeah, quality. they've kept up. It looks Disney amazing quality. for its age. Yeah. Um, wow. But the one complaint we'd have, if mm-hmm. we compared, if we had to pick something, it would be the Wonder being the older ship. The like walls are thinner. We, we like okay. pretty noticeably mm-hmm. thinner. So like you can hear your mm-hmm. neighbors a lot. Mm-hmm. And then uh, <laughs> if you're not an early riser, you're woken up by uh, which they're doing a great job. But the cleaning crew. Uh, vacuums right outside your door at 7 a.m. every yes. single morning. So Ooh. if you stay up late, you're up at 7. Yeah, which we notice, like, on, yeah, exactly. You notice on the dream, you can't hear, like, any of that. Yeah. Like, the soundproofing, I guess sure. you could say, is, like, way yeah. better. So, okay. again, so nice. it's something to keep in mind. Some people don't. It doesn't bother them. Like, we've watched countless videos where they just use a, like, what do they call it? Like, like sound, a, machine, a sound machine or yeah. people sound just machine. sleep through it. Mm-hmm. We're very late sleepers, yeah. especially Caleb. So <laughs> we can hear it. <laughs> so you can just, what can you do, right? You're on the oceans. You just laugh about it. But yeah, it's yeah. great. Yeah. yeah. What, what are the, I mean, okay. So I think a lot of times people, when they think of cruise ships, they think small rooms, kind of like compact, sure. all this stuff. And hearing sure. about the, um, the, what was it? The wonder that had like, you know, the thin, thin walls. walls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the newer ship, you know, being on the dream, yeah, is there any size difference? Is there any like, I don't know, are the sure. rooms nicer and up, more updated? Are they comfortable? Yeah. You know, yeah, is there like a, a. Do you guys usually do the kind of like the inside state rooms or like the ones with the little porthole so you can kind of see outside? Like, yeah, no, we always say? we always shoot for. So the first two cruises we did a veranda, which is a, a fancy word for balcony, Ooh, um, nice. and which is really nice. It's very, very nice. Uh, for the Alaskan cruise, we did just the porthole. Um, let me, let me tell you something crazy. Uh, the <laughs> difference between, so the Alaska sailing is, it starts off very expensive. It only gets more expensive. If you do a balcony, it was a $2,400 difference between a porthole room and a oh. balcony room. So oh. 
We wow. elected for the porthole. Yeah, porthole. <laughs> I was like, fresh air. Yeah, who needs? Yeah. 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 We'll just go up to the top deck. Exactly. exactly. And they were, and it wasn't like a small porthole. Like it was pretty big. It was big. It was, oh, yeah, nice. nothing to scoff at. It was yeah. a great room, but Disney's known for their larger state rooms. So I've gotten Ooh, curious good. to see, um, you know, like what do the Royal Caribbean uh, rooms look like? What do carnival rooms look like? Mm-hmm. What have you? Mm-hmm. And Disney yeah. at the end of the day, probably I would argue 25% larger. Yeah, um, I would agree. Ooh. Really? Yeah, so they're they're pretty oh, spacious. Awesome. Now it's just the two of us in a room. If you slapped yeah. f- five people, it would be tight. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay. But if it's just, mm-hmm. I would say it's comfortable, like up to four people. Uh, oh, that's for awesome! A room. Wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And so talking about like the different types of cruises, I know Caitlin, you said that you did. You used to go every year with your family, or just kind of like yeah, sporadically. Yeah, my when you're family younger? loved carnival. We'd always do. We always go to Mexico <laughs> carnival. Oh, that's so cool! Um, yeah, party ship. Yes, at <laughs> age like six or seven. Yeah, yes, it was great. Exactly. Um, yeah, so I do have. I think we went until I was around like thirteen. So age like six to thirteen, we'd go pretty much almost every year. Um, but yeah, there's been. From what I've seen, there's vast differences between Carnival. And again, there's nothing wrong with Carnival. Um, yeah. It's from the ships that I've been on, they're primarily a little on the older side. Um, mm-hmm. But Disney, again, it comes with a cost. But Disney, what we've noticed and kind of accumulated is they hold their standards. So everything is always mm-hmm. well awesome. kept. Um, the staterooms don't have like bunches of hair like you would find in like <laughs> Ooh, Carnival yeah. like, on the ground, which we have. I'm <laughs> not just making that up. Yeah. It's just gross. Oh, um, yeah. And like the showers and are always super clean like everything is wiped down and sanitized and just the beds are super there's no stains anywhere like we've had a couple friends who wasn't there like mold like yeah on the we had friends oh. that went on a cruise on a uh, cruise line and there was like straight up like mildew yeah like, up. It's so nasty. Do it with disney yeah it's, it's kind of gross <laughs> <I'm back out. laughs> yeah and so like, yeah well, i'd hate to bash on the parks at, at all i know we all have there's issues with them right now but like yeah. what the parks have like kind of slacked on the cruise line is uh, from our experience have really kept up mm-hmm. so cleaning still mm-hmm. like the awesome. number one priority everything works right there's no really broken yeah. things on the ship mm-hmm. it's it's a beaut so and you're, and that's you're what i was so wondering awesome. too because like yeah because oh, like God. whenever i think of Disneyland as a park I mean obviously like you said they have been slacking a little bit on certain sure. things but you know if you go to Disneyland and then you go to like Six Flags or something like that it's, there's a yeah. vast difference of like yeah. how that park is maintained and so it's cool to hear that even when it comes to the cruise industry Disney still has True, that reputation that, and yeah. still yeah. you know has that pristine kind mm-hmm. of look because you know Walt always wanted it to be this place that did not yeah. seem like another theme park and gross and dirty mm-hmm. and yeah. like kept that standard. So yeah, even I'm glad the to hear space, that the cruise, so the cruise line wants yeah. to maintain that too. That's awesome to hear. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's pretty, I mean, again, it's pretty eye opening because I feel like they, all cast members are awesome no matter where you are with uh. Disney, but on the cruise line specifically, I truly feel they go above and beyond for literally anything like this. We had our suitcase wheel broke off when they got delivered to our room and they're they called oh. us and we're like hey just want to let you know we replaced your wheel for you when we went oh into our gosh. state room there was wow. a big basket with like rice krispie treats yeah and oh, free food for oh my gosh. it was like above and beyond again i didn't even notice it was broken until they said oh hey we broke your wheel on accident yeah. we replaced it and here's all these free goodies it was like so nice it's just so kind wow. yeah, to do that so that just little awesome. things like that that you kind of like notice paying attention like, wow. to the details yeah. for sure yeah. i love that that's awesome so what would you guys say that like your perfect day at sea looks like? Cool. Because obviously you get to stop off and do excursions and stuff, sure. but like on the ship, what are some of the things that you have to do? Like what are some of the fun activities on the boat? Yeah. So if you're on the dream, let's just play around the dream. Okay. okay. Um, that's my yeah. perfect day. We're on the Disney dream. And uh, <laughs> honestly, a, a, a ride on the uh, aqueduct. Aqueduct. I forget the name of that. Oh. So that is the onboard mm. like water slide mm-hmm. and it is pretty Ooh. awesome. So it like jets you out over the side of the boat in a clear tube. Oh, so wow. it looks like you're going over the ocean it's amazing. and it oh, brings it back gosh. around. It is a blast. It's really fun. So definitely a ride on that for mm-hmm. me, uh, just to wake up in the morning and then, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> start your day out and then I'm thrill. <laughs> honestly, probably like doing a spa like appointment. Caitlin and I did oh, a massage for the first time on our last cruise. It was life changing. Absolutely oh, life changing. Wow. They kept. That's amazing. I, I don't know if it was a compliment. They kept calling Caitlin. You look like Lindsay Lohan, except 
not her personality. And I was like, I don't. Wait, have you seen? <laughs> have you seen what Lindsay Lohan looks like? I don't think that's so funny. <laughs> they were sweet. They're just but I was out I random people who've been in Disney exactly. movies. <laughs> yes, it was like, so funny. to you. They're like, you look like a uh, Jean Luc. Yes. You're like, are you right? just like in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Just that's anyone who Disney came to mind. Yeah, <laughs> it was so funny because they they were so sweet. They just kept like talking to us and like smiling at us, and then it got like really quiet. And they're like, you look like Lindsay Lohan. I was like, okay, Without that's interesting. Person. I'm like, okay. Out of left Without field. the personality. The- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, okay. I was like, I don't know how to take that, but can we get a massage now? So yeah, it was a little weird. But um, it was a great experience. Oh, so yeah, yeah I think just relaxing. And then also I think grabbing, they have, uh, there's an adult only part of the uh, ship mm-hmm. called um, Ooh. Quiet Cove. Quiet Cove. Sorry, jeez. Quiet Cove Cafe. Sounds like a and <laughs> it is a like espresso bar. So they've got. Oh, Cove Bar. Oh, Cove Bar. That's what it is. I'm making up words over oh. here. Uh, <laughs> so they have a bunch of different espresso drinks and stuff. So I think just sitting there with a nice mm-hmm. coffee and drinking a bu- or drinking a book, <laughs> reading a book. <laughs> I'm going to switch back to English now. Uh, reading a book <laughs> sounds amazing. Yeah, it's it's nice too because oh it's like, again, just to touch on like the little things that they do. Like they put little Disney mm-hmm. characters on your coffee, which it's sounds crazy oh but it's like God. on top of the oh, phone wow. like yeah. they have this is that machine the phone? Oh my God. yeah that's so, so cool. I think the last one we got like Minnie and Mickey like they can do like Avengers character it's just it's amazing but that wow so yeah cool. and then we're gonna finish the day off with getting some chicken strips up on the deck <laughs> because the chicken <laughs> strips Ooh, yes. they're out of this world even yeah. the gluten free ones they're just they're so good I'm pretty sure we had them multiple times a day yeah right. let's not let's not mention that <laughs> yeah when you find but, that favorite food you just you, stick you just so have to partake and when again it's not free right you paid to be on it right. but when the yeah. food is prepaid for essentially and mm-hmm. all you can eat it is so hard not to take advantage of it so there's yeah. a lot of oh yeah, yeah. And one Might thing well. that we did notice too went in comparison with other cruise lines is disney includes the drinks and like the soft drinks not alcohol with the yeah. price of the cruise so like with carnival oh, you weird. had to pay for a drink package that includes all your soda so with yeah. Disney, you it's just fill up and get whatever you want. So it's awesome. Oh, oh that's wow. so nice. So, that is then, awesome. Yeah. So is there, because I, I went on a cruise, I've been on two cruises before when I was younger, but um, there was probably like 75% of it was like the free restaurants. And then the other 25% was like that higher scale that you do sure. have to pay mm-hmm. a little bit extra for. Is that kind of like the ratio you guys have seen with Disney Cruise Lines? Like maybe there's a restaurant that, you know, is like a steakhouse or something. And then you yeah. do have to pay that low extra, but... It's kind of nice. So the cool thing about Disney is you don't feel like you're getting downgraded. Um, They have, they, they created a thing called rotational dining. Mm -hmm. So you actually eat Mm -hmm. in three different restaurants throughout your cruise and they're all included Mm -hmm. um, for sit down. So like on the dream, you'll uh, go to animators palette, which is uh, themed after like an animators room. And so there's screens all over showing different animations. It's amazing. I love that. Uh, The second restaurant you'll do is Enchanted Garden, Mm -hmm. which is, it uh, feels like you're at a French like market kind of thing. And this is the crazy thing. While you're eating, it starts off at dusk. So all the chandeliers are um, open. Yeah. Yeah. Open and, and like they orangey. Are, clo- are they closed? Maybe. I don't know. Oh. I- <laughs> but they're open or closed. Just, it's just envision this with me. And then as the meal goes along and when you end it, they either, I think they close up. They close up and they're like a purple, like dark color. So it looks like flowers are like closing up for the night. And so wow. the restaurant slowly changes. And then the final one is a uh, Royal Table. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Which is like their Cinderella themed restaurant. So that's all okay. included oh. in the cruise wow. fair, which is amazing. Mm-hmm. And then of course, that's all the amazing. grab and go stuff's included. And then the only two paid options are restaurants called Palo and Remy. Uh, okay. Palo's like an Italian restaurant. Mm-hmm. It's, I think, like, how much is it now? $49 a head? I think so. They just changed it. Yeah, they just upped, they just okay. upped, it, upped the price a little bit. But it is worth every single penny if you guys mm-hmm. want a date night. And it's Palo 49 is, and then you just get, like, everything Everything kind of included. included. Yes. Wow. Okay. wow. Yes, That's except amazing. for alcohol. alcohol. If you want alcohol, separate. yeah. I was going to say, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it costs them $400. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it is it is so good. Um, very good food. Again, Italian steakhouse. And then Remy is a French cuisine restaurant. That one's pricey. That one's close to like, I think, a hundred and something dollars a person. Yeah, it's very okay. fancy and very pricey. It's three hours. It's yes. a three hour experience. Oh my God. So oh, wow. you have to have a full night of food. Um, we've never done it just oh, because man. I don't want to eat for three hours, but for some people, love that stuff, so. <laughs> yeah. It's like oh a long gosh, night of food. Do you get to see Remy the rat? At any you don't. Does he come He's out all dressed over. up to your... Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> comes over and feeds like, you your food, escargot. Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. So they have him, of course, like decorate. You know, he's kind of hidden everywhere throughout the restaurant, but he does not make an appearance. I wish it was almost like The Wish with I think it's Enchanté, where it's like all Beauty Ooh. and the Beast themed, where it's like oh. Cogsworth is out, Lumiere oh, yeah, is yeah, out, yeah. but like Remy's very distinct. It's very like you. We don't yeah. want you to know you're winning, like a Ratatouille themed <laughs> yeah. restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that would kind of throw you off a little bit if you pay like $150 for a meal and then you're all like, of a sudden Renemy the rats like come into your table you're like this, like the yeah. tones are super different you know? it's like Chuck E. Cheese but with fancy yeah, food yeah. exactly yeah. this is the fanciest Chuck E. Cheese I've ever been yeah. that's so funny oh my gosh oh my gosh that is way Sounds too good fancy. Um, so yeah. for okay so you guys are childless millennials correct and I do know there's a bit we were them we were yeah, them for a while <laughs> until out popped their little baby. Uh, yeah. But so for the childless millennials who are like big Disney fans and maybe want to experience a Disney cruise, but every time they think of it, they just imagine little kids running around everywhere and like them not having a relaxing time. What have you experienced on a Disney cruise? And um, is it kind of like that? And is there any like adult activities? I know that you uh, mentioned the Quiet Cove coffee yes is that right? <laughs> yeah experience oh, one of them but like what yeah. yeah is there a lot of like crazy kids all the time and like can you break away and do some adult activities yeah. what's been your experience there yeah so it's funny we actually get that question a lot especially with family and mm. friends because they when they hear disney they're like oh okay it's gonna be just <laughs> consumed with yeah. children and yeah. mm-hmm. that's been actually the complete opposite um disney huh. cruise line like prides themselves off of the what are they the, the kids clubs yeah yeah Oh, yeah, no. no. So they are like, they are so cool. They do an open house on the first night. They're mm-hmm. so cool that like I'd want to spend. I would totally go four there. hours there. It is wow. unbelievable. They get to like, first of all, there's like meet and greets, mm-hmm. um, just like the parks, but like all day for them. So like, oh my it'll be gosh. it'll be uh, noon, and Cinderella is like helping feed them lunch. Yeah. Um, and that then is... oh my gosh. yeah, a couple hours later, and uh, I don't know, like Woody might make an yeah. appearance. It is so crazy cool. In the meantime, oh, they're like able to do like arts and crafts. Of course, they're able to watch uh, Disney movies. They've got all these activities at any age group up until seventeen years old. Yeah, and they're all the different wow. rooms are all themed. So like one of the rooms on one of the cruise ships is themed like Andy's room. So there's like a big oh slide God. that's like Slinky Dog that they can oh go down, gosh. and it's just it's one's super a incredible. Star Wars one. So like it looks like you're the Millennium Falcon, like yeah. piloting it. Uh, it's it's awesome. unbelievable. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, the, the cool enough for, for adult. adults. Yeah, so you can you yeah. can imagine like the kids want to be in there all day. So yes, yeah. there may be a lot of kids on board, but they're in the kids clubs mm-hmm. like nine hours out of the day. Yeah. So oh, wow. Wow. kids got their own spot to be at. Adults have their own um, adult only section of the ship. So there's a pool there. There's a full bar. Uh, the coffee shop, like we mentioned before, um, oh lounge chairs, and yeah. that's all sectioned off for adults. So you can definitely escape the kids if you want to, or also just yeah be a family and hang out mm-hmm. all together. So yeah. it is. Absolutely amazing. The best of both worlds, quite honestly. That's awesome. It sounds very well-rounded. A lot. Yeah. And we we have a couple of friends who, like, people we know who bring their kids on the Disney Cruise Line, and they never want to leave, like, the kids' clubs. Like, they're always begging their parents, like, can we go back? Like, And they're like, no, like, I want you to hang out with me. (laughs) But so it's it's awesome. Like, it's when we have a little one one day, like, it's it makes my heart, like, happy knowing that all these other kids love it so much. Yeah. So that's mm-hmm. so awesome. It's awesome. That, Very cool. Yeah. The cool <sighs> thing is, cause we've done like, you know, trips in other countries and all this stuff. And it's like, we can't do that. Like when we yeah. have a kid, you know, like yeah. so much traveling, so much moving and all this stuff. And then we've been like, cruises sound awesome because like, you don't have to move your luggage from place to place. Mm-hmm. You're just kind of all there and all everything. Base. Um, but the fact that there's also like a kid's designated room mm-hmm. is also just like a major perk because mm-hmm. You know, they could hang out. You could get a little bit of time. You think of cruises, you think of relaxing and not, yeah. you know. For sure. 100% spending time with the kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kids are great. <laughs> but, like, there. <laughs> like a little bit of a, l- real a little break, right? Well. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So that sounds amazing it. that there's there's options like that. What you were saying, like, just about it's not overwhelm- or overwhelming with all the kids and all that stuff. Sure. I'm curious, like, the parks, Disneyland, it just seems so crowded all the time mm-hmm. with a cruise you have like a, a cap i know that the the parks have a capacity limit as well but <laughs> doesn't feel like does it, it seem <laughs> a little less crowded going from place to place on a disney cruise line than it is in a in a park like I, that yeah, thought came to mind like, feel walking around the cruise ship if it was like yeah. as crowded as disneyland sounds a little tough 
can you notice a difference there when you're on a cruise? Yes. So I will, I'm going to be a hundred percent honest with you guys. My first cruise, which was that first one in 2019 on the uh, Disney dream. I was yeah. like, so overwhelmed the first day because there's nowhere to go. Right. Everyone gets on mm. the cruise ship. The only thing you can do that night is eat dinner. So in the meantime, okay. everyone's out walking around. So I was super overwhelmed going, what did I do? I made a huge mistake. It feels like <laughs> Disneyland <all> people. <laughs> on a ship. This is not going to be fun. I can't escape it, right? I can't get my car and drive yeah. away. You're on this thing. Mm. So I was oh super overwhelmed. Gosh. The next morning, everyone like dissipates, right? Kids go into kids clubs. People yeah. go into theater shows. Mm -hmm. They go into uh, Disney trivia. So everyone kind of goes and sections off into different areas of the ship. And then it becomes mm -hmm. a ghost town in 70% of the ship, I'd argue. Top wow. deck always feels Disneylandish. There's a lot of kids up there, a lot of uh, families yeah, walking around. Like around the main yeah. pool. Yeah. But yeah, other yeah, than that, mm -hmm. if... It is amazing. Mm -hmm. They've done a really good job at That's capping so awesome. and keeping it still pleasant, but fitting, you know, enough people on yeah. there. Yeah. Um, it That's does awesome. not feel like a busy day at Disney. Not at all. Mm -mm. It's awesome. That is yeah. so great to hear. That's awesome. Sometimes we just kind of, we Crowd. love the park so much, but it's like, oh my gosh. Like, I know. not yeah. even room for me to walk. Yes. Yeah, so a hundred percent. Totally get it. <laughs> yeah. 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 And on that note, um, we feel like, you know, a lot of, Disney fans out there are kind of more like park people. Like they're kind of mm -hmm. loyal to the parks, whether it's Disneyland or Disney world. So for anyone that's kind of that way, what, what are like some reasons you would say that like choosing the cruise line is a better option or are there, are there cons to being on the cruise as well? Or like what, what, what would you say yeah, sure. uh, to anyone that's like wavering? I always I mean, again, we love both. Um, I, mm -hmm. It would be hard to choose one or the other, but I would have to say if you want full relaxation and you really want to dive deep into that, I would highly recommend the cruise. Disneyland, we all love, but it's not always a vacation. It's super stressful in moments. Yeah. You're bumping people. People are shoving you. You're getting hit with strollers. Yeah. And like mm -hmm. things might not be working on your phone. Did you like your genie or lightning lane, whatever? Yeah. But like yeah. the cruise, yeah. like we've said on our podcast, is one of the most relaxing experiences we've ever had. And it truly feels like we unplug, like yeah. when we're on there uh. and we're able just to like focus on each other. And it's it's awesome. So it is really fun. So like I would imagine like, and you guys have been a million times, but Disneyland is truly yeah. like a it's a trip, right? Um, mm -hmm. I had to consider the cruise like a vacation. Uh, you don't okay. have soul oh. service, right? And you're just, you're honestly fully consumed to Disney magic the entire time. You can pre-book stuff if you want, right? You can pre-book experiences mm -hmm. and port adventures, which is their fancy word mm -hmm. for excursions. But mm -hmm. if you don't do any of that, you still have a fantastic time. Unlike the mm -hmm. parks right now where, you know, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. And if you don't do it, it's not a fun experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I would, so great to hear. coming from a non-cruise person, Disney cruise has converted me to a full on fan. Yeah. So yeah, we love it. <laughs> as far as like cons it. go, I would say the only thing that's kind of a bummer sometimes is the price of Disney Cruise Line mm, because it is for sure. exponentially more expensive than like other cruises. Um, again, it depending mm -hmm. on our personal experience, we think it's completely worth it. Um, but it does mm. come with a cost and it is something that we do have to save for. And yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, that's the only bummer. Yeah. When it yeah. comes yeah. to like, you know, obviously Disney theme park tickets are so expensive and then the hotels are so expensive too and then all the food that you're like paying for, for there sure. obviously like disney fans are all about the food you're gonna mm -hmm. get everything you're gonna be paying a lot for all that stuff mm -hmm. yeah obviously it's going to be more expensive to do a cruise but would you say that it that kind of like levels out the playing field a little bit when you're like not paying for a hotel you're not paying for and you're getting a you know, more relaxing overall it totally does out of it so. okay <laughs> totally does especially yeah. now you asked me that two or three years ago i probably would have been like eh, it's a toss-up yeah now mm -hmm. where the states of the parks are at and uh you know disney cruise prices haven't skyrocketed yet mm -hmm. i don't knock on wood <laughs> um <laughs> yeah, yeah. but right. for sure so you're right if it hurts it stings a little more because you're prepaying right you're prepaying yeah. for your food you're prepaying for your hotel um so it hurts a little more but you're a hundred percent correct. It does all even out. And I would argue you probably do get a little more value now on the cruises and the parks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And like okay. less variables, right? Like mm -hmm. it's easier to save for something like that. Cause you're like, okay, yeah. at least I know that, yeah. you know, the food's included, all this stuff where mm -hmm. when you're in the park, sometimes you're just like, ah, oh, like this sounds good right now. And then <laughs> yeah. after your trip, you're like, 
oh, I spent like $1,000 on food. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. on food. I love Disney snacks. Um, <laughs> yeah, same yeah, here. It's, it's um, so it's kind of nice knowing that everything's included. Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. And all that stuff. So that's great. But would you have any tips for our listeners on how they could fully maximize their magic on a Disney Cruise Line? Whether that's like, you know, things they should hit first thing in the morning or like, you know, what ship to do or any like excursions or areas. Like what are some tips that um, our listeners who are kind of wavering on, should I do one or not, you know, could just kind of tap into and really enjoy their cruise a lot more. Yeah. I mean, my number one thing, I'll let him speak more to it because he plans all the (laughs) cruises. (laughs) Um, But one thing I do recommend is if you are considering doing a cruise with Disney is making sure that you jump on the dates right when Disney releases them because it is the Mm. cheapest they will ever, ever be. So again, and sometimes with like um, when you're buying airline tickets, you're like, I'm going to wait a little bit because they'll go down the line of sale. (laughs) That's not how Disney Cruise Line does it. It's usually the Mm. first day is the cheapest they'll ever be unless it's some weird circumstance where they can't fill the cruise or whatever which is, it is. rare it's yeah. they're always <laughs> fully booked so yeah oh, yeah. Point, but yeah yeah so for sure like caitlin said book it at, immediately um and disney cruise line is always good about announcing uh like a few weeks in advance like hey we're gonna release these new dates right about about like 16 to 18 months in advance is mm-hmm. when they'll release mm-hmm. new dates um for mm-hmm. sure book it immediately uh to save money and then yeah. as well like when, when you're on the ship honestly i would to maximize my honestly i would say go with the flow if it's your first if it's your first cruise with disney definitely go for one of the larger ships there's a lot more room to Mm. run around Mm -hmm. the kids are going to appreciate the larger uh kids clubs Mm -hmm. and Mm. you're going to appreciate the updated state rooms and just everything's a little newer right um yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. and those old ships are getting old they have done a great job keeping them up but they're still (laughs) old (laughs) at the end of the day yeah Yeah. Yeah. it is an old ship and then the first one i think was like 97 yeah the magic so that oh, thing is wow. a float. Yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think. It's getting ready to retire. The other, it yeah. should be, yeah. The other thing <laughs> I would recommend is once you do, I mean, again, it's based on picking the cruise on which one, like ship wise, whether it's the dream, the fantasy, the wonder, the magic, the wish. Yeah. Um, it's based totally on preference and where they're going. Cause like currently, oh, mm-hmm. like I think the dream next year is going to be doing, is it the Mediterranean? Yeah. The rumors are going to move to the Mediterranean. Oh. So yeah. they're actually moving finally a larger ship to cover Europe and all yeah. that good stuff. Oh, so again, so that's awesome. m- mainly Exciting. based on like where you want to go destination wise. But one thing yeah. is when you do choose which cruise line you're going to be going on or cruise ship, um, I would really dive into like the excursions or possible like Ooh, things that you can yeah. do. Like for Alaska, those go super quick. Um, so really mm-hmm. researching that ahead of time to make sure that you can nail your spot. And then also mm. for like the Bohemian ones who don't have a ton of excursions, like if you want to get what are they like the things on Castaway Key? You can get a cabana, which those normally those go very so quick. But you can rent like these fun like bike things that you can bike on the water. They're yeah. like a it's like a oh. biking mm-hmm. boat. Awesome. <laughs> it's very weird. Oh, or that you, is awesome. Yeah, That's or if you want to go in like the spa, like those book up. So like yeah. again, planning yeah. ahead like what you want to do so you know. So when that w- window opens up, you're able to get a couple things. Yeah, and my final awesome. piece yeah. of advice would be. For your first one, I, I'm very value conscious. So I always book through mm. Costco because they give you the most value back. So like you'll get Ooh, like a oh nice. $300 uh, gift card after you get off the cruise if yeah. you book through them, oh my which is gosh. huge wow. savings. And is that a gift it. card for Costco, for Costco. Or Disney? For Costco. Okay, for Costco. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. And you know how Costco Gallery trips are. We went last awesome. night and it was a small fortune. Costco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so <laughs> it helps when you have those gift cards. But I would argue your first one, you're going to get a little less value um, cash wise. But I would advise someone to use a travel agent, um, a Disney one. Mm. Uh, you know, there's a ton. Concierge is one I've heard of. Mm-hmm. And there's there's a million of them. Yeah. But I would say they would be a great resource. Uh, mm-hmm. Again, if you're not just getting a bunch of cash back, you're getting their knowledge, right? They'll book things yeah, for you. For sure. Reservations. They'll teach you the ways mm-hmm. of the Disney Cruise Line yeah. for your first one, at yeah. least. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's a awesome. good point. Yeah. Really good to yeah, know. That's a really good. Yeah, because we, we've had a lot of people that we've connected with that are travel um, agents. Mm-hmm. And it's just great because you don't have to really think too much about exactly. it exactly when those days come that you know it's the excursion you want to you know exactly you wanna experience they're like they're on it you don't have to stress about it so, so that's yeah. Great. yeah and don't you like with travel agents don't you like you don't even pay you them. don't pay them yeah. to no. them right no yeah they get so like cool. commission off of it so yeah um, which is awesome because they do so many like amazing they do a lot of stuff that's a lot of work yeah. like calling the yeah. cruise yeah. line being aware of all those dates and times that is a lot so they deserve every yeah, dollar i don't know how they do it 
Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Lots yeah, we want to yeah. we want to get a, a travel agent on sometime. Just kind of yeah, do yeah. Some, that's a yeah, that's a great uh, you know, idea. Some tips on how to pick their brain, how to do all this stuff. And, yeah, yeah. But and they've then, got a lot of good knowledge. They really <laughs> they do. do. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that kind of concludes the cruise line questions that we had for you guys. Thank you awesome. for all the tips and all your knowledge it was oh, so yeah. fun to hear about it but of course we also always do a little segment when we have guests on to hear just kind of more about you guys and just do a couple little quick fire questions so awesome. we'll just do a few of those uh the first one we have is how did your love for disney start which we kind of know a little bit a little bit about already but maybe just dive in a little bit more yeah sure let me you go, go first. first. Okay. So as I've as stated before, my parents were uber obsessed with Disney. Um, <laughs> like my, I think my first Disney trip was Walt Disney World and I was like a little baby. Like my parents Aww. were those people who like took me super young and it kind of just <laughs> developed over time. And then meeting this guy over here, um, it kind of <laughs> just grew exponentially because we just, we love it so much. I just feel like that love just went way up yeah. after we start. Cause again, we start going together and mm -hmm. then you start creating your new Disney memories, which is so magical. And yeah, it, yeah it just, I'm just so thankful that you love Disney. <laughs> I know. So bad. Yeah, that would have been. But, yeah. So yeah, basically I since I was born. Some, yeah. We know awesome. some couples where they are on different pages about oh, it. And I'm like, we, how are you guys together? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that feel like, oh, no, now how does that all work? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be yeah. so hard. <laughs> yeah. Compromising. <laughs> and oh, mine crazy. started a little later than Caitlin. Um, again, as a toddler, I went to Disney. I don't remember it, but I was like around three years old in Disney World. We lived in Orlando for a little bit. Uh, but it officially started when I went with a family friend when I was 11 years old and absolutely fell in love with the parks and like, you know, started ordering books about Imagineers. I was the dorky was oh like reading gosh. up about like, you know, oh. do you know who this person created this ride and stuff? <laughs> so it was, I was that annoying kid that was like, fun fact, uh, this ride was, you know, $200 million to make. <laughs> um, yes. And, uh, I was very confident, quick story time. I was so confident in my knowledge that my parents took us as a family after I came home and talked about it nonstop for like six months. They said, forget it, We're taking the family, let's go. So they took us. And uh, it was, a, they did it big. We did the Grand Californian. I, I got to give him credit. Oh my we did gosh. it like right. Um, but I was so confident. I said, dad, I don't need a map. I'll lead you around the park. I was that confident. I'd only been <laughs> once. I got lost and like couldn't get them to small world. And my dad was so upset. You know, it's hot outside. And he's like, where's, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. where's this ride at? And I'm like, oh, I think it was back here. <laughs> so, yeah. really shouldn't have gotten a map. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, yeah, I'll, take, like that the, the I'll dad, take that map. Like when you're like 11 years old, you're like, no, I don't need a map. Like, <laughs> exactly. I don't need That's directions. So <laughs> yeah. That's so oh fun. Gosh. That's so fun. And like you guys said, like, being able to experience it when you're young and with your family is so amazing and so great. But when you find like your significant other and like just create those memories together, oh, it yeah. like brings on a different, different level, uh, different level of just like magical experiences. And, yeah. and I, we've talked before and like you guys were about 16, mm -hmm. right? Yep. When you guys started dating and same uh -huh. with us too. And, like just being able to go have as all those memories and, over the oh, years. Yeah. yeah. So special. It's it really amazing. is so special. Oh, it's so it. good. It is fun. Guys. Remember when we, held hands on that ride yeah i remember when we were on your guys's show we talked about like the awkward first pictures at disney yes oh we still have gosh. to post this yeah. we need to yes, share we those do. the community to. needs to see that oh, it's, it's they're so it's bad we'll do a is. voting thing like a poll on our instagram <laughs> stories <laughs> whose is more oh my gosh to <laughs> i don't know ours, ours is like bad. we're in i look like i don't want to be there even though i wanted to i was like no, Half yeah, smile. it's the awkward, like, <laughs> we're dating, but it's, yeah. like, weird still. In front of her parents, like... And my mom's yeah, in the front yeah, of her. Yeah, 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 I was like, that, too. Yeah. Because yeah, it was, like, our parents taking the photos. So yes. Like, we don't want to pose. Like, we don't want to look yeah. like too lovey-dovey, but, like... Yes. Um, yeah. It's very cringeworthy, very cringeworthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sure. Matching sweatshirts. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing. Yeah. So, we'll Let's have bust them out. Let's bust them out. Yes, we do. The world needs to see. Speaking of amazing Disney memories, like the cringe moments that we're talking about, what <laughs> has been your favorite Disney memory? Um, whether that's together or, you know, when you're yeah. younger. Um, yeah. I love no this question. Here. You go first. Okay. <laughs> Wait, well, I kind of cheated because I have two. I hope that's okay. Um, I, only one. Actually. Yeah, I'm like, okay. That's right. Leave the law. Um, so the first one happens actually over at DCA, and it was our first time Ooh. going to Lamplight Lounge, which we're oh. obsessed with. Oh. 
And mm-hmm. um, so after same. we went and had dinner there, um, we decided to – I love Pixar Pier. So I'm like, let's go walk around Pixar Pier. It's like dark. All the lights are on. Uh, and it was our first time we got chocolate caramels in the Bing Bong store, which is my favorite. And uh-huh. they're one of our most favorite desserts to eat. And I remember just walking around eating them, like talking. Like it sounds so weird, but yeah. it was so magical. And – I think we were standing next to the what is it called? I always want to call it the Wheel of Death. The Wheel of Death. The, uh, yeah, <laughs> Mickey. Pixar 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 yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, so that was so a scary. special moment. I love that. Yeah, and it's like what you do Sometimes when you're older, right? Just like those we, moments. Yeah, as adults, like you, instead of like going to ride a ride, you just sit there and talk about life while yeah. eating candy. Which so. yeah. is, I want the number one and more. And then the second one, um, we've always had a dream of staying at the Westin. It's been like one of our top things ever to do. It's always been on like our bucket list. And he surprised me one time, and I remember when we went up to the room, I was just being so excited, and we had, like, this little balcony that kind of overlooked DCA, and I remember, oh again, gosh. I sound so old, but I'm like, we were just sitting out on the balcony just talking, and I remember being like, this is such a dream come true moment, and just being able to see, like, the Incredicoaster and, like, all the lights. Like, oh. It was one of the most amazing experiences ever. So thank you for that. that of course. Is so, oh <laughs> I my love gosh, that. That's so great. I love Pixar I, Pier at night. Yeah, it's, it's so, so yeah, beautiful. That, that is magical. Even if it wasn't like in the park, it's still just like a yeah. moment that you remember from that trip. Yes, for sure. I feel like we have a lot of those too. Wow, yes. that is so amazing. So yeah. special. Yeah. Oh wow. What's okay. Yours? No pressure. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to go. I'll have to go. I, I, I two came to mind, but my number one probably is actually I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say East Coast, which is I'm going against myself as a Disneyland Ooh, faithful. No. But <laughs> I took Caitlin for the first time that she could remember. Right? She went as a, a little girl, but um, yeah. I took her for the first time in 2019. I think so. And okay. seeing her face when she saw the castle for the first time, like the big castle, oh, she was like, yeah. "Oh my gosh!" That's... Like overwhelmed. So that was fun. Yeah. I like seeing her face just like light up like, oh, this is the one I see on movies and stuff. Yeah. So yeah. Sweet. Oh, I love that. One thing that they do like that they just crush at Disney World. I remember the first time we ever went in and saw that castle just yeah. like it's you. It's gigantic. Is, it's gigantic. But then we, we went for a rope drop. And their rope drop, they oh, did like fireworks oh, yes. in the morning. It's they like so amazing. them behind the yeah. castle. And I was like. What a great way to start your yeah. Disney trip. This right? is amazing. Where Disneyland, perfect. just people crowded in and then they like rush to uh, yeah. uh, Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> yeah. and exactly. just kind of, like, Not as special. Feeling. Not yeah. as magical. Yeah. Um, still love you, Disneyland. But um, yeah, do you want to get the next I one? I love that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Next one. Um, favorite Disney ride. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good one. I guess either park. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Haunted Mansion. Uh, I would it would have been Indiana Jones back in the day. The older I get, uh, the 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 more brittle the bones get, and so that rides a little rough on me now. Yep. But uh, definitely haunted that. mansion. Yeah, I've come to appreciate like you know the backstory behind that ride and how it got yeah. built, and it's just a, it's mm-hmm. a fun one. I love it though because awesome. he's on Indiana Jones. He he's like excited, so he's kind of like half screaming, and then you hear him go, "Oh my gosh!" Ow. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ow. Yeah. Um, yeah it's it's so funny um but you know what i last time when you guys were on our podcast we talked about this as well and i told you it changes mm-hmm. all the time it has and it is Within currently indiana jones <laughs> so i kind of go back and forth between that one and haunted mansion it just depends on the days but right now like ever yeah. since we talked about it last week i've been thinking about yeah. it and i'm like i want to go on that ride yeah and have it work <laughs> But so it's good. Oh my god, yeah. we're literally wearing. We're I'm wearing, wearing the Indiana Jones favorite. shirt. And I are you really? Oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah. We're your favorites, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys knew. Ortiz has not created your favorite pirates. Yeah, so they need a pirates one. The other but... day. I was like, man, they haven't made a pirate shirt. I would um, love to that see that. Would be awesome. Like yeah. Yeah. Is, I have the haunted so mansion one. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's so good shirt. I'm like obsessed with it. But yeah, no, I feel you guys. Haunted mansion is such a classic. Amazing, right? right? I love the two different tones. You know, as we were watching the Imagineering store and they talk about like, you know, one of them wanted to go more kind of scary. One of them wanted to go more funny. And then it brought about this like, crazy behind the ride. attraction. That's the one oh, that, was that really dives the tra- into Yeah, they dive that. into yeah. it even more. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's so cool. And then Indian Jones. So awesome. My bones are also brittle. I've been going to a chiropractor. <laughs> All right. So um, he's been cracking <laughs> me up good. But I feel like I could handle that one. But Matterhorn? Matterhorn, oh oh, yeah. I feel like we step it more and more, which is so do. sad. It's, it's such, a, such classic. a classic. It I don't know how Walt wrote it when painful. he was like in his Because, yeah, imagine like how much even like more... 
shaky and jerky it was right yeah. then. That one, no. we made the mistake of going in the very back the last time we went on that. Ooh. And it oh, was it's miserable. And I painful. like it hurts. I don't think it's healthy. It like, hurts the base of your skull. I'm like, I think I'm going to yeah. like break my neck on this ride. <laughs> and don't even try to raise your hands on it. I mean, I'm not no. a tall no. guy. But still, even my hands raised up, I'm like, I'm going to my, my wrist. Is <laughs> I'm going to lose a hand like, on this thing. Not fun. <laughs> like, oh, it's so hard. It's such a fun ride, but yeah. Afterwards, it's always just like I don't know if that was worth the it. The new exactly. Yeti is so. I say new. It's been there for a long time, but that Yeti is awesome. Yeah. It is amazing. I love Harold. Rest in peace in Mission Breakout. But yes. um, I like the new one. He's really I cool. love the new yeah. one. It's loud in there, too. It's loud. It, like, oh, it's, for it's kids, that's a scary ride now. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. Like, in it a couple of times. Wasn't it just the one spot? Before? No, I think it was, too. But he does oh. He does show, like, as you're going up the hill. They didn't have that. The animated like thing him. on the side there. Yeah, yeah the little animated oh, thing. Oh, yeah. That is very scary. <laughs> that's true. Um, I definitely <laughs> cover my ears sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty loud. Um, I'm like brittle baby, bones. And, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, brittle bones and brittle Scared of eardrums. sounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so kind of on that one, uh, favorite Disney movie? We're just Ooh, Very important that, question. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to go first. Okay, mine's The Princess and the Frog. Whoa. I know. Oh. It, it's normally... A it's, recent classic. Yes. A recent <laughs> yeah, classic. Seriously. Yeah, yeah no Normally, kidding. it's Beauty and the Beast. Um, but ever since we went on The Wonder with our cruise to Alaska, they have mm. a themed restaurant to um, Tiana's. Tiana's place, yeah. And there's oh, a show, and I just... It made me... We watched it, actually, on the cruise. So it always brings back those memories. And I'm like, it is one movie where I laugh, I cry, I just like, smile the whole time, <laughs> yeah. I sing to the music. And it's something I could watch multiple times a week, I feel like. So right now, I'd have to say that. That's a solid pick. I, lo- and the I love that. It is. It's it a is great so movie. Great. It's we so love great. It. I said for the right. I feel like we've definitely wait. grown to love it more and more yeah. as time goes on. It is, yeah. it is definitely like a classic. Like you said, yeah, yeah. yeah recent classic. Like It is cemented in like Disney... Like, right, you know, legend movie legend yeah. within Princess our mind. Movies. Yeah, because yeah. it's just so good. It aged so well, even feel? though, oh. yeah, even though it's not like too old, it did very well. I, I like, love it. Yeah, like, yeah, it's gonna, I think it'll stay relevant for years, but yeah. I think mine, so too. With the 2D animation is yeah. gonna have to be Lion King because oh, let's go, it is yes. the best <laughs> movie <laughs> show yeah. ever. It is like <laughs> so the voice good. talent, the voice talent, right? Oh, I know, Jeremy Irons, uh, James Earl Jones, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> Because everyone loves yeah. Matthew Broderick, yeah. but like, yeah, yeah, it is. It is just a classic film. The music's fantastic. We've talked about the music. It is just, yeah. it's the perfect yeah. movie. It is Spot the perfect. Movie. It tears. really is. Yes, like every time the tears. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh the yeah. Tears yeah. Tears it's that up. one oh, moment. Yeah. Oh, we we all know World of Color. <laughs> oh my gosh, that scene in World of oh, Color. Oh right, like, yes. Dad. I'm like right. No, no. tears every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Mm-hmm. Even as and a, then it goes so into that slow little right section. Oh, come on. Oh, that's so good. I love it's it. So bad. Yep, yep. It's a great one, though. Good choice, both of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so since you guys asked us the same question this when we were on your question. show, we have to know your answer for it, which is, if you could, which ride would you swap between Disneyland and Disney World? You go, you go first. I hate that you <laughs> asked me this because it's so hard. I like <laughs> asking it. It's a good question. Guys. It was way yeah. too good. <laughs> but being asked by it, that's harder. Um, yeah. So I'll go first. It is tough. Oh, that is so hard. I, I've been thinking about it and I just keep changing my answer. So I think I'm going to switch <laughs> out. We're going to head over to Tomorrowland and I'm going to take Ooh. out. Uh, I love the way it looks, but I can't ride it because I get really claustrophobic in it. I've tried it once. It did not go well, but finding Nemo <laughs> submarines, like I cannot uh, okay, okay. Okay. be in an enclosed space like that. So I'm going to take that yeah. out, even gotcha. though it's really pretty to look at okay. and i'm gonna put yeah. i think i'm gonna go like uh, when you guys are on our show i'm gonna put tron there i want tron Ooh. okay Ooh, I, am there. Yeah. 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 I love that i know that was what i was struggling with too like because i like you said the look of the water near matterhorn is yeah, so beautiful. beautiful so that's why i took out astro blasters but i do agree we never go in there especially after like the pandemic you're so close right so close to right yeah, like, yeah. Some stuff. i love to look at every time around. i walk yeah. by i have to like <laughs> sit and take a moment to just like yes. observe it because it's beautiful but yeah as for the ride itself doesn't happen yeah. often no yeah. there's a lot a lot of sharing yeah. of air right not yeah. a lot of circulation yeah. for way yeah. too long. and no yeah. way of getting out of it yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that's true i, I agree that's a good that's a good little swap 
I like that. Yes. Good I feel choice. Like mine doesn't make a lot of sense, but we're just going to pretend. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> I, like I <laughs> so you're going to laugh when you hear this. Okay. So I'm not the biggest fan of the Millennium Falcon ride. Okay. In Smuggler's Run. I feel you. Yes, yeah. that one. Okay. Um, as you can tell, I don't even know yet. the name of it. Um, I've been on it once. <laughs> that one like, space ride. Yeah. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think I would switch it for um, over in Magic Kingdom, uh, Mine Train. Seven oh, Doors Seven Doors oh. It doesn't make sense to put it in Galaxy's Edge, but we'll just pretend <laughs> it's going to go somewhere else. <laughs> I love it. Just but spatially. You're just exactly. removing space just, from one yeah, area. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Giving more space to another. Yeah. <laughs> Slap and, C-3PO and R2-D2 in there. Yeah, in sense. a perfect yeah. world, it would go in Fantasyland. But I love that ride, even though it's literally 15 seconds long. Um, oh, yeah, it's so yeah, fun, though. The Millennium Falcon's not my favorite. Okay. So. You know, we but. were just talking about uh, before you guys joined our show, like how Mandalorian is kind of like a spaghetti western, and she always yeah. talks. She always like laughs I like, when I say spaghetti western because that? that was the first time I said that, and then I was like, I actually don't know what that is, and then I looked it up. But it's a thing. Honestly, yeah. you could kind of make it like take that out, do a little mind train thing, and be like, oh, it's like the spaghetti version of like Star Wars oh. or Star Wars, and just kind of do it like a weird mining town. Yeah, part of I love two. it. And that's like, cool. Oh, yeah, you, you know? know. And then Mando, Mando is just there. Like at the end, you're like, oh, that's <laughs> it. There's the tie-in, you know? Chris. Okay. You <laughs> missed. <laughs> you missed your calling to be an Imagineer, man. Like, <laughs> like the worst Imagineer the ever. Just <laughs> put it there. Like it sounds good. Everyone's like, I don't understand the narrative. And like, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about the narrative, Mando. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. It's gonna okay. create a oh whole new gosh. park, and it's just like a hot podge of everything. I like, love it's it though. Park ever. I don't know about that idea. <laughs> so from there, before I uh, just armchair Imagineer, very <laughs> the whole, the whole um, idea. Yeah, what destination? So we we've heard that you've been uh, to the ba- wait Bahamas or the correct yes. the Bahamas, Bahamas. Okay, and Alaska. Bahamas and Alaska. Um, yeah, Bahamas twice, Alaska once. What is your de- what destination is on your bucket list for a cruise that you guys want to go on? Mm. Oh, actually, two part. We're gonna do a two oh, yeah. part. One that already exists and one that. Maybe it doesn't even exist. I don't know. Okay. That okay. might be hard. I don't know if you guys have like, that at the top you of your just head. Go like, anywhere. Maybe there's an area of the world you've wanted to travel, and maybe there's yeah. not yeah. a Disney cruise there. But no, um, I love it. Curious to hear your thoughts. Yeah, that's so funny. We actually just had this conversation about where we wish that they would cruise to. <laughs> go. And Ooh, um, go. we would love to take a Disney cruise to Switzerland, um, but it, mm. they don't oh. currently cruise there because of the way. Well, I think it's landlocked. Oh, <laughs> so that's like saying you want to take a cruise to like I know, Missouri. But like, I wish I could cruise there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know, like a river cruise. Yeah, like I wouldn't perfect, know that. I would be like, yes. oh, it's <laughs> yes, I, sorry. I context. wish you could hover <laughs> over land. And then yeah, yeah. Yes. So you can do a river cruise there, but I wish like a Disney cruise could go sure. to Switzerland. Because like, okay, mm-hmm. yeah. it's not, it's not big enough. <laughs> I love it. I love that you want to <laughs> yeah, yeah, move, yeah. stop there, do a little train to the river, and then do a river <laughs> oh like go yeah. see the If they can disassemble horn. the ship yeah. and then put it back together, or on like river. maybe do like a super yeah. small Disney cruise <laughs> okay. ship. How about one that exists? Ooh, right? Yeah, I mean, one a perfect Ooh. world. I would take the dream. To yep. Switzerland. But the itinerary that exists oh, already. Um, the Mediterranean <laughs> for sure is like our ultimate yeah. like bucket list. It's. Uh, where it, where it goes to sis, where it goes to like, like yeah you know, uh, Italy like, um there's so and that's it I'm just kidding. <laughs> we know someone <laughs> yeah. who just did, I know I, think I know it hits their, up Italy uh, honeymoon it? I think it was their honeymoon on a Disney, on a Disney Mediterranean yeah oh really <sighs> Shannon oh she did one yeah oh, that's cool yeah <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. who's Shannon I don't know Shannon yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my gosh oh so she did one yeah so Mediterranean yeah. that'd be Awesome, yeah, because it sounds amazing. I would we choose that too. Back. I think we've yeah. been to we've been to like Venice, and then we've been to like part of the Mediterranean. I'm actually my my mother is from uh, a small little island in the Mediterranean called Malta. Really? Oh. So we went to oh. Malta as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so yeah, to do a Medi- I don't think the Mediterranean cruise stops there. It's like Probably literally the size of San Francisco, like the whole country. So yeah, it's super small. Oh my gosh. Uh, that's so, crazy. so I don't know if they would stop there, but some cruises do. Oh. But yeah, Mediterranean cruise would be amazing, especially yeah. like those like Italian yeah. little like coastal mm-hmm. like Positano oh my gosh, yeah. and uh, yeah. what's the other one? Positano and uh, Amalfi. Like yeah, oh, the, the Amalfi Coast. Coast. Yeah, oh, that'd be yeah. so cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. how about you, Caleb? So yeah. Caitlin stole my answer of an existing itinerary. <laughs> so I will change it up, and I'm gonna go. I'd love to do. It's cost prohibitive, and also 
you'd have to use, I'm sure, all of your vacation time at work. But this is a cruise <laughs> that goes from Vancouver, Canada, all the way to uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. So, <gasps> oh, oh my yeah. gosh. So okay. you get a bunch That's of sea days in there, but also you get yeah. a couple stops in Hawaii. So like you get to travel the Hawaiian Islands by cruise ship, which is oh unbelievable. Oh my gosh. That now, sounds amazing. That's amazing. It's someone's yearly salary to go, <laughs> but it looks no. Like, no, it's oh it's not gosh. that bad, but Yikes. it is very yeah. very very expensive. It's very expensive. It's so, a lot. Oh my yeah, gosh. like we mentioned on our show, if we win the Powerball, we'll all go as a group. But yes. um, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Wait, what what <laughs> ship is that on? Is that on like a? That is on the one Wonder actually. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the say, Wonder like, the Wonder takes ship, uh, yeah all the West Coast itineraries. So like Alaska. Oh, um, it. it takes San Diego, you know, to Mexico and stuff, and then also does the Hawaiian. So okay. Um, awesome. awesome. Yes. And that so one that amazing. doesn't exist. You don't want to go to Switzerland. <laughs> I'd love to go to Switzerland <laughs> if it was possible. Uh, but I would also I would <laughs> I'd probably need to cut do some like land out of <laughs> yeah. Make Come on, little... Europe, oh make it happen. Context. <laughs> I forgot the context. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Physics and such. I would love to do. Um, I'd love to, I've never been to Japan. I've always wanted to go to Japan. So Ooh, if they could do some kind of so Japanese awesome. cruise, uh, just Asia, that part of Asia would be amazing. Cause I've always wanted to go Ooh. to Tokyo Disney and mm-hmm. if I get, get yes. there by boat, that would be ideal. So, that would be Ooh, amazing. Especially with all those new lands opening up. We got right. old, uh, frozen and oh Peter Pan. Yeah. They get everything. They get everything. That's going to be amazing. I definitely want to go to Tokyo Disney Sea very soon. Yeah. Oh, very nice. soon. Uh, yeah. We'll probably see <laughs> yeah. Them a couple soon, years, maybe. But, uh, In the next couple eight years, years we'll, we'll get Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Within the decade. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I promise you guys now. Yeah, we're in the decade. Exactly. Yeah. It's going to happen. Oh, it's so good, good choices, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for being on our show. This has just been such a so blast, fun. just like it was when we were on your guys' show. So yeah. any listeners who are listening right now, check out our uh, interview that we did on Margano's podcast. Yes. Follow yeah. them because they're just the best. But for anyone uh, listening, where can our listeners find you, you know, podcasts, Instagram, all that good stuff? Yeah. yeah, so we're on uh, we're on Anchor like you guys. So it, you know, publishes it to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, I think Stitcher and all the all the platforms. Uh, we're yeah, on Instagram at Market House Podcast, mm-hmm. on Twitter at Market House Pod. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't know how long that'll be around, but yeah. I'm on there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's where we're on. We're not on. We're not on YouTube like you guys. Again, uh, maybe one day we will be. Maybe but one uh, day. yeah, but all the, all the all the podcast platforms and Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, awesome. perfect. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. Like honestly, we've been talking outside of our shows as well, and we just. Love you guys so much, and we would love to hang out in person. Yeah, yes. do like we a, a collab in person, or just do like a. I don't know. I know Same. we like just mentioned maybe a Disney museum trip yes. or something like that. Maybe we could just do like a little mm-hmm. tiny live stream from there. I don't know. Yeah. It just I just okay. we'll 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 do do some you guys and do some fun <laughs> stuff. So, um, anyways, yes, definitely go check out Market House Podcast again. Thank you so much Thank for coming you guys. on. Thank, Thank you, guys. you for having so us. Fun. Seriously, love Thanks you guys. For Thanks so much for, yeah, for we, having us on the show. We appreciate you guys so much. And again, we we love everything you guys are doing. Your Instagram, your YouTube, your podcast. It's all just exquisite. So we're oh, honored to be a part so of your show. So, and trying your to keep friend, up, guys. Yeah, it's just we're very thankful for you guys. So thank you so yeah. much. We're honored to have That's you fun. on our show. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> totally. You guys are the best. Thank you so much again. Yeah. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you guys uh, hopefully soon. Yeah. Yes. Bye. Definitely see you guys. <laughs> see you All guys. right, bye guys. Bye, see ya. Caleb and Caitlin, thank you guys so much for being on our show. We had the best time talking to you guys and hearing all about Disney cruises and just all about your show and who you guys are. It was just a blast. So we love you. Thank you for coming on our show. Guys, uh, if you're listening to this, go give Market House a follow on Instagram. Go check out their podcast. Uh, their Instagram is at Market House Podcast. And I believe you can find all the links to their podcast through that page. So go give them a follow, give them some support because they're amazing and we love them. Yeah. Caleb and Caitlin, you guys are just the best. We had such a fun time talking to you guys tonight. And really, listeners, if you need another Disney podcast, even if you don't need another Disney podcast, <laughs> uh, you need Market House in I'm your life. I'm sure you need them. They are just great people. They just create great content, amazing topics. You got to check out their show. Find them on 
all the podcasting platforms and just enjoy because they really are just such a blast to listen they are. to. They are. And They're so good. Yeah. So amazing. But anyways, we thank you guys, listeners, for listening in on this episode. If you have not listened to our interview on Market House Podcast, go check that out and then everything else that they um, have done recently. And with that, I mean, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for listening. And we will see you guys next week. See you guys. Bye. Bye.